We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. Today, we received our save the dates. We're gonna be putting them together and putting them in the mail. And we're so excited because this is it. Like once the save the dates go out, next are the invites. I know, there's no turning back. Although we've told like our friends and family, sometimes they do still ask me like, hey, what's the date again? Just to make sure that they don't book vacation or whatever it is. This is important yeah. that we do this so they can save the day. You can kind of get a little bit of like a head count of who's gonna be attending because we might have quite a lot of people, but some may not be in town. Yeah, you know, some people it's hard for them to RSVP or they don't make time for it, so it'll make it easier for us to get in contact and kind of like cut stuff out. Yeah. We can just like, you know, uh, reach out to them and be like, hey, you gonna go or? Nah. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking is we send the save the dates out, they'll visit the wedding website because we created a website for yeah. the wedding. And from there, they're able to do like a soft RSVP, which is gonna be helpful for us to narrow it down. And then, in a few weeks from now, if there's some that still haven't like pulled their sheet, I'll just reach out to make sure that they got it. Besides that, we're so excited. They finally came in and they are beautiful. We made them on Minted and it was easy. First, we kind of wanted to do it custom, but yeah. why when Minted does it just as good? Yeah. Way faster, way more effective. It's amazing. And they weren't that expensive. We even got everyone's name printed on there, which was easy to like upload your spreadsheet with all your information. Yeah. I also was extra in this process and bought stamps specifically for the wedding. These are the Forever 2011 Love Edition, I believe. I definitely think that they need to make some new ones because these are kind of hard to find. I had to like hunt them down on a website, then they were sold out, cancel my order, and they're like, never mind, they're available now. So got a bunch of them so we can use these for the save the dates and also the wedding invites. And whenever we just need to mail things out, yeah. I'm telling you guys, I got five booklets. So we are set with stamps. We did get extra envelopes on accident. This is before we realized that we should have printed everyone's address on there. The most exciting part is that we have our save the dates right here. It is truly such an iconic picture of us. We did the template that was on the website. We just added our date, our name, the location. You flip on the back, there are more photos of us. We did add information about the wedding, like we can't wait to celebrate with you. Visit our wedding website for information. This should be really easy for them to get to that website and put them all together and finally send them out. Funny stories, some of us and I are both headed on a back Bachelorette, bachelor trip this weekend. I'm leaving tonight. Yeah. Sebas leaves in Friday. on Friday in a few days, and then he doesn't come back until the following week. But the day he gets back, then I leave on a work trip, and we're not going to see each other for 15 days. I think this is the longest we've ever gone without seeing each other. Ever, never <laughs> not seen you for that long. Too so weird. we're kind of sad, but like we also felt like we had to do this today because as much as we'd like to do this another day, these need to be out already. Yeah, it's just too many days to wait after that. So we're just excited to hang out with you guys and do this. Does the Post them, go on the top left or top right? Woohoo! Alright! So this will be another last day left. So pretty. Oh wow. Wow. This is so cool. We did it, Ken. This will be. Dang, if I receive this letter, I'll be like, woo! <laughs> they kind of killed it right there. Our tongues are gonna be chapped. How are we gonna French kiss? <laughs> Now imagine if we were to do every single one of these and... Write it? Oh no, I feel like it'd kind of be a vibe. With my writing or your writing? I guess yeah. No, my writing's terrible. This just looks really um, this like is so elegant. Cool. So during our wedding planning, I feel that getting everyone's addresses has been stressful because I just know this is gonna add on to chasing the people for RCPing, people canceling last minute, people changing their mind last minute, like, oh, I can go after all. You already made like your head count for catering or whatever. There's no way we could just lick hundreds of envelopes. Mm -hmm. There's no way. No, you, there's other ways to do it, but definitely. Why aren't we doing it that way then? I don't know. I think it's like a sponge, sponge and um. Yeah, sponge and water, right? Yeah, because my tongue's already getting a little. It tastes like shit. <laughs> I put the stamp perfectly. Yeah. And then yeah, the this last is so thing. cool. So I'll just take them to UPS? Yep. One of the questions I have been getting asked is how many guests are coming to your wedding? We are staying in the 200s. There's not really like a clear number just yet. But I want to say between 220 and 250. So there's 110. They like. I don't think it'll pass 250. No. If you guys have gotten married, let me know what your guest count was. I want to see who has had the biggest wedding. A little up. 
Why make so those update fun? on our wedding, like where we're at with everything. The next big thing to do that we're like locking in within the next couple weeks is our wedding invites, like finalizing them. I'm waiting to hear back from this one company, so we shall know soon. Find our wedding bands and find them. It's catering. That's like the main big thing that we're that we're working on now. Like it's on our focus this month. My dresses, my dress arrives. Um, in April, so I think once that comes, it's, then it gets really fun with like the accessory shopping. But I told myself I'm not gonna do any shopping for shoes or anything until my stuff arrives, so that like I can be really like in my feels. There's a blank one. Wait, did I just really smash through all of these? Believe. Dang, that was fast. Should we go through them just so if fast? We miss some. These are for your moms and tias in Mexico. Woohoo! Oh my God, I'm so excited. Not me forgetting a whole ass stack. You did it. Oh my god, look. Double check if there's more. You put them inside and I'll stamp it up. You don't want to look anymore? I don't have any more saliva, or else I would help you. Dude, your cousins weren't even gonna go anymore. <laughs> I almost threw this box away. Almost missed him. You did. You're about to get blamed, hunty. Dang, Oscar wasn't even gonna go anymore. They're all done and ready to go. I'm gonna double check the spreadsheet tonight though Just to make sure that every single one went out the next big project for us is the wedding invites Which I'm very excited about that. I love the inspo that I have found and I sent over to this one company That I think is gonna be able to do it But I'm just waiting here back from them and then if that goes through I walk you guys through how that invites gonna look and then when they arrive I bring you guys on the whole way. Good morning you guys I had to bust out my camera right now because I finally got the invitation proofs from the company that I decided to order the invites from. I looked around for quite some time based on the inspiration that I was finding. I looked on Etsy, on Pinterest, and then eventually found this company that I'm going with on Instagram. But the way I found it was very interesting. I started stalking photographers because photographers, I noticed, take details photos day of the wedding for the bride. It's usually like the shoes, the rings, uh, the things that are like sentimental and meaningful for the day of the wedding. So like they usually have the invites on there. And I'll, you guys, I'll post a photo, you know what I mean. While I was looking, I noticed a lot of photographers were tagging the invite companies. So that's how I was able to discover this company, stalked their Instagram and fell in love with like all their wedding invites that they do. They're so unique. They do a lot of calligraphy, which is definitely what I wanted to do for the invites. They also do letterpress, they do foil, and then they do this beautiful hand-torn photo. It was like everything that I was looking for in one. Then I went on their website and it was the easiest website to use. Everything's visual. You can semi-custom your invites. You can fully customize them. You can do them however you want, but pretty much submitted in a form with my inspiration, what I'm looking for, and I just got the proofs back. I am freaking excited right now to show you guys how they look. Before we get into that, though i want to jump to their website and show you guys exactly how it works and how it looks on there again this is not sponsored at all i just really want to help anybody who is looking for invites maybe likes the style that i went for or kind of wants to see how i did it because this couldn't have been any easier so i'm gonna hop to the screen and show you guys how it works and then i'm gonna walk you guys through the invitation proofs that were sent based on the photos that i sent over and um, before i do that i want to show you guys right here the inspiration that i was going for very hand-torn papers ribbons wax seals letterpress foils calligraphy like i want that like vintage love kind of feel i hope you guys can see what i see but anyways this is a website it's called sugared fig papery again found them on instagram when you go to their site you have two options semi custom or custom invites i went to the wedding invites and clicked on semi because i don't want to fully customize them i like that they already have mock-ups of work that they've done in the past with different styles different colors i also love the fact that they do envelope linings which is very common Common, but not everyone offers that so this is definitely something that I wanted to add to the envelopes but let me just show you guys a little idea of how these look like how elegante for the envelope lining they can add any kind of photo that you want they can even paint your venue there's so many ways to go about it I just think that they made these look so elegant and beautiful and they give you great options as well. The one I ended up liking is called the Charlotte Suite. I found this one to just be so dainty and cute and you have the option to do like the regular style invite 
or you can do the hand torn, which is more in the style that I was going for. You can also do letterpress and they have 10 wreath options. So I like ended up liking this one a lot and I want to show you guys uh, the mock-up. So right here is version A. The envelope, details card, and invites are off-white. Everything including the calligraphy is all gold foil. There's a gold wax seal. This is the envelope lining option they sent me, which I thought was cute, but not my favorite. As much as I love this all-white option, I think there would be a couple minor changes that I would make to it. Next we have option two, which I personally love this one. The invite and details card is off-white. The envelope is sand. And then I really love the envelope lining on this one, but I don't know if I love, love, love the envelope color, but this option so far is my favorite, in my opinion. It's so pretty. And then you have option three, which is gorgeous as well. It has a sand envelope, the off-white, invite and details card however this is letterpress and the letterpress color i believe is called sand and then the calligraphy is in a walnut color so so a little deeper than the gold i do love that they sent the letterpress option but i don't know guys i'm leaning towards option two which is this one right here something about this one is speaking to me it's so beautiful i'm gonna talk with them to see a few more options and definitely circle back with you guys but yeah, this is definitely the one that I think I'm liking most, the most at the moment. But we're gonna have to circle back once I figure out what I'm gonna do. Hello guys! It is the day before my bridal shower. And my wedding invites just arrived. We're two months out from the wedding and they arrived just in time to be mailed out literally Monday. As you guys saw, our save the dates arrived in January. They got sent out. From there, I took some time, and now this one's finally come. I, I know. Wait. I don't know what I'm more excited for, sending the safe to dates or sending these. What were you more excited for, Jessica? Everything. Wow. Holy moly. All right, to begin with, there's a little box in here. I think this might be like a keepsake for me and you. No way. It is a keepsake <gasps> for me and you. Oh. The vintage Ooh, I like how they cut it. The details look really nice. It's super, super elegant details. Not gonna cry. I'm not crying. Why would I cry? Why would we cry? Wow. Okay, here are the invites. Wow, this is so nicely placed in here. Let me go over here. Wow, and then here are all the envelopes. Oh, this is so good. Wow, literally, guys. The only thing I didn't get from them was the stamps because we already bought our floral stamps for this. But everyone's name. Calligraphy. calligraphy. Everything is calligraphy in calligraphy style. style, which I think is so beautiful. Dang, this is it. It's official. Yeah. This Last is it. stages. I love that each and every single one has this beautiful hand torn paper. So dainty. These are going out Monday. Shit's being, shit's I'm getting so real. So it looks like we're putting these together tonight. <laughs> yeah, we have gift bags. Oh, they're beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. Exciting. Our pizzas here. We're gonna eat real quick, and then we're gonna put these together. <laughs> Does it look like we're about to get married? Because we are. We <laughs> literally have our marriage license appointment in about two hours. Yeah. I'm super bridled out. Let me show you guys. I'm a whole ass wife right now. You look stunning. <laughs> you look great too. What are you talking about? Yeah, so back out or you're good? Super. Invite should have been mailed out forever ago. We're a little late, but that's okay. So as you guys are watching this today, like this upload day, this is when I am filming this in the moment. Mm -hmm. It's like in real life right now. So we're about to get these ready to go, send them out. These should have actually been mailed out a couple days ago. Um it's okay yeah, it's totally fine, but we're we're getting to it. Personally, I think mailing out your invites. A month or two months at four is perfect. And by the way, we've already sent out the save the dates, so people know already, but these are the formal invitations. Formal, people like it for keepsake and whatever. They're going out and they're gorgeous. So I showed you guys how they looked already. I am absolutely obsessed with them. So we're gonna go ahead and put the first one in. Watch the master. How cool is this, guys? We're about to go to the courthouse. We're about to send out the formal invite. I had my bridal shower the other day. I really feel like it's really happening. It's like hitting me differently now. Invites are set and ready to go. We are out of here. It's official. That's it for today's video. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.